Many people ask me for a normal clay godbrush tutorial and obviously if you are trying to learn how to godbrush in any more common way these tips are gonna be especially useful to you. So I just made an in-depth uh, step-by-step tutorial that slowly transitions into a 20 minute video after the second step for no reason uh, on how to godbrush in general. But especially on small maps where everyone can see you. If you are trying to win bedwars and not just kinda play to get better or get good clips, never got bridge. Every time you do, the game just turns into this. But if that doesn't scare you, here you go. Step 1. Be cake pro. Step 1. Create a super flat single player world. Step 2. Go to your settings, options, video settings and turn off view bobbing. If you don't, Minecraft is gonna randomly mess up your aim every time you are trying to start off your bridge. Once you are done with it, just aim between the half of the first pixel and uh, the edge between the second and the third pixel, but a bit higher and it's gonna work, but instead I suggest you to install my resource pack, which by the way I made a light version of, so if you had any problems with the full version, check it out, uh, I linked both of them in the description. So that you can just aim on the orange line, which is the Godbridge aimed, uh, and when you're just learning you really don't want to be distracted by stuff like aiming, so it might be really useful for you. Also, you may have noticed how some people jump after the sixth block. Maybe you didn't pay attention to it, but a lot of people do. And you see, if you aim on the blue line below the edge or half the blue line over the edge, you actually fall after the sixth block. But after it, if you jump before, you can just continue a normal eight block god bridge. As well, if you aim the upper half of the blue line over the edge, you can continue a normal god bridge after just four blocks and even a bit over the line with a two block jump. But I don't recommend to jump in after two blocks because it doesn't work with the normal aim. Unlike the four block jump. If you don't have any time to aim your bridge, just jump after four blocks and do what you normally do. But if you aim over the edge, you can place your first block before unshifting. So I recommend to just uh, aim below the edge and uh, do the 6 block jump if you need to aim faster. Those aim lines also lead to new bridging techniques, but I guess I'll just make another video on those. Next, choose your clicking technique. You can pretty much do it with every single one of them, but people get the most consistent by drag clicking without taking their hand off the mouse. For me, this thing is easier. Most people do it like this. And you can see that I don't even have any weights on my mouse right now and uh, I can still like gut bridge with short drag clicking with 20 CPS. So if you feel like your mouse is slipping off, you just have to like uh, try to apply a bit less pressure when you're drag clicking so that it doesn't. Something like this. Once you've chosen your clicking technique, take the block that you are planning on bridging with mostly. Like if you are a high pixel bedwars player, it should be wool or sandstone, whatever. And build a tower out of three blocks. Get onto it and try to bridge. And that's why we are starting in a single player world. When you fall from your bridge, you don't have to distract yourself by aiming again. Just build another tower and do the same thing. But why is it exactly three blocks? So, with the tower, when you are falling, when you miss your timing, if you click later than you had to, then you are gonna place a few additional blocks on the ground. And if you just felt, it means you clicked a bit earlier than you had to. And that's how you know if you have to click less or more often. So just by looking at whether you're placing blocks on the ground or not, you are gonna learn how to place 8 blocks by timing your clicks eventually. About the jump timing. So aim for jumping when 
you are at the middle of your 8th block. Count the blocks that you are placing and once you are on the 8th one, jump in at the middle of it. If you do it too late, you are only gonna be able to place uh, 7 blocks and not 8 at the next jump and uh, it might be very confusing, like it's really hard to understand why you are falling. Or you can just jump every 7 and not 8 blocks, that works as well. But if it's a bit too early, it's, it should be fine. If you are spamming a lot of clicks, the jump timing is much easier because you can jump a bit earlier and still get it. But we are aiming for the perfect timing here, so just jump uh, at the middle of the last block once you know uh, the jump timing and uh, how to bridge uh, eight blocks separately you, you just combine this and do the same thing over and over again that's how you get your first god bridge line when you get kind of consistent with it you are probably gonna get a little lost uh, in an actual bedrock game or wherever you wanna do it so once you are able to do it in a single pair world it's time to go to a bridge practice server because uh, those servers allow you to learn how to aim pretty fast and like not uh, get scared of the void. Mm, it's uh, overall just more like an actual game, so it's better for practicing. But important thing for choosing a bridge practice server, you have to get really nice ping there. So there are three ways of getting the timing. It's with muscle memory, listening to the rhythm and visually. Of course you can combine all three of them, but most people just listen to the bridging sounds, try to remember the rhythm and then just get used to it and do it purely with muscle memory. And if someone tells you that they don't really know how they're doing it, it's mostly muscle memory, but you still can't perfectly memorize the move you are doing with your finger. And you also forget it every time you don't play like for for just a few hours uh, so that you have to hear the sound of someone or yourself god bridging again to memorize it and if you are trying to bridge on the server with a very high ping it's gonna be a lot harder like the sound might be so messed up that it just makes you worse at bridging instead of helping and we must rush red There he goes. He's too fast for the fireball. He's way too fast for the fireball. They, <laughs> they missed five fireballs. How did? <laughs> And it's almost impossible if you are used to normal timings to bridge uh, without sounds. But there is also visual method of doing it. So it has a really important advantage uh, that if you learn it just once, you are gonna be able to perform any way of fancy bridging without even pr practicing them because you're just watching the blocks and, and you don't care about the sounds you don't care about the thing it's basically perfect but it's uh, really hard to learn and even when you do you're still not gonna be able to do it entirely by just looking at the block uh, so if you don't need it for some specific reason just don't waste your time learning it it's really hard and it's easier to just uh, memorize the timing but if you do decide to learn it that's what you need to know do the same thing and when you're bridging look for the shadow on the block so right now you can see that the side of the block is uh, a bit darker than the, the top of it so that's what we are looking for after kind of processing the image with your brain instead of this you have to see this. You can't argue that it looks much easier. But it's better to start with the easy way, so just listen to the rhythm of the block sounds and click every time you expect to hear another one. And that's why you need a good bridging server. Try to find the closest one to you, but more important is that the server itself doesn't lag, so that you hear the sound rhythm properly. For me, it's MC Play HD. I have just uh, 35 ping there. Anything up to like 50 is fine. Go to Fast Builder and start practicing. There you go. You can ask other people for bridging tips and uh, just keep practicing after doing like this move for a few hundred times <laughs> for a few minutes so uh, you're gonna get used to it and you're gonna be able to aim pretty fast and once you're a real god bridge scientist like i am 
and you know everything about uh, getting better at god bridging which you do if you're on this part of the video then you can try doing it with normal click first thing you need to know if you're trying to god bridge with normal click is that you need a little bit more time to work uh, the first block like it's almost impossible to notice but uh, there's just one or two ticks more because you need some time to get the momentum for working at your maximum speed that's why you fall after eight blocks because uh, on that point you're just moving too fast that's not the only reason but whatever and uh, if you are used to doing it with uh, double clicks or drag click or stuff like that, you never noticed it. But actually, start with the normal click and make the delay for the first block the slightest bit lower. Otherwise, you're gonna fall after the first or the second block. Then just try to do 8 blocks like this. It might seem impossible at the beginning, but you're gonna get much better as you practice. Just don't give up, because it's gonna take a while, but you're gonna become much better at this. There are 3 clicking techniques in which you can single click Godbridge. It's normal click itself, tap click, and half a double clicks. The difference between tap clicking and uh, half a double clicks is that for taps you just do a fast move with your finger to get this really precise click and for half a double clicks you just easily land your finger on top of the button so that after it your finger stays uh, at the top of it and you can just like click another time and that's just how you double click like you, you do it but faster and uh, in our case we just do it the first half of the double clicks like the, that first click of it that's really fast uh, and why we need it you may have noticed previously how geometry dash players tap their mouse instead of just clicking it quite often and are forced to listen to this Okay, what the heck is that noise? That, my friend, is someone clicking their mouse. HARD. And they're doing it because that way they feel the click much better and they can get uh, better and harder timings. And that's what we need here as well. So place the first block with the normal click and after switch to tap clicking or half a double clicks. Because if you start trying to do it with normal clicks right away, like, you're just not gonna get the timing precise enough. You're not clicking the exact moment you want to click and you don't feel the moment where you're clicking. This way, once you touch the button with your finger, you immediately know that you made a click there and therefore it's easier to do that way. But you click to know how to do it with normal click and that's not normal click. To normal click, after you practiced a bit with uh, tap clicking or whatever you found easier, you have to place your finger on the button and do the same thing for every block but with a lower amplitude, like you have to perform your normal clicks very fast to get those precise timings that you got with tap clicking. Also try doing it with your double clicking and normal clicking grip, whatever you're getting it better with. And that's pretty much it, like 8 blocks is all you need, it's the core for god bridging. Once you know the jump timing, all you need is to just do this thing like 6 times if you're trying to the end on MC Play HD or however many times you need in a row. And for the jump timing, you can do it purely with normal click. If you start clicking for the jump uh, a little earlier and you're gonna have to normal click very fast in order to place 3 blocks in time. But you can get used to it, just make sure you don't click too early or before you can place your second block because you won't make it in time if you miss your second click. But if the rule is one click per block, for the jump timing you should still double click or double tap. Even if your mouse doesn't double click, if you double tap slow enough it's gonna work. But if it does, you can just do it for every block. So what's the point of doing it with normal click? The thing is, when you're doing it with double clicks or drag clicking, 
you never know when you miss the timing. Like uh, if your timing is terribly bad, but you click six times for every block, you are not falling and uh, the problem is you don't know how bad your timing is. So doing it with normal click is much better for practicing. But in my house I couldn't find any mouse uh, on which I wouldn't be able to double click it consistently. Um, except this thing. You can't even like normal click on it, what, what even it is. What is this? What? what, what is... So there's a really big chance that you're just doing something wrong and you should practice double clicking a little more. But if you're certain you can't double click, you know what to do. Some people ask me if uh, Logitech G502 is good for god bridging. Uh, you can drag click on it because it has a CPS limit. Uh, and for double click god bridge, you have to triple click on jumps uh, to make sure you place two blocks and uh, not just one uh, if uh, the double click is too fast. It's very similar to single click. And uh, on G502, the triple clicks are slow, so it's very hard. I'm doing it with the G502 because it's good for top clicking and I just like the shape. If you have one, you don't really have to single click it. In fact, for me, it's even better for God bridging than an XTD because I'm doing it with double clicks and uh, on XTD, the double clicks are so fast that they often just place one block instead of two. And on G502, they're almost perfect. Yeah, almost. Overall, I would not recommend it for Minecraft, but it's still a great mouse. Uh, I don't have a handcam for this clip, uh, but it's also G502. So once you stop complaining that your mouse doesn't make some crazy 300 CPS MLG, uh, even if uh, the drag click on it is as trash as this, you can guard bridge with uh, every single mouse. Hope that keeps you motivated and uh, good luck destroying nonce with uh, your acquired skill piece.